I just built a one-click viral video shorts machine with AI, as you can see right here. And what I'm about to reveal will completely automate your content creation whilst you sleep. This system takes one long form video and transforms it into hundreds of edited clips with captions, music, auto posting, all without touching a single tool, as you can see right here. Now, what you're going to learn is the exact NAN workflow that clips your videos, generates captions for every platform and schedules posts automatically. And you're also gonna learn how this AI rates each clip with a virality score and selects only the highest performing segments. And on top of that, you're going to discover the secret method to turn one long form video into over 100 shorts that post themselves across TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and everywhere else. So today I'm gonna to show you how I created this shorts clipper workflow that basically takes my long form video content, clips it into shorts automatically. You can create hundreds of shorts if you want to on autopilot and then generates the shorts, sends them to Google Sheets, and you can actually auto post them to YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, etc. I'll show you exactly how to do that in a second. If you wanna see an example of the video, let's pull this up. So, we, so this is the short clip with the captions and the audio directly, you can see right here. And if we actually unmute that, let me show you an example of how it sounds. Manus AI agents now have Veo3 built right in, and this is your blueprint. This was created with an NAN workflow. I'll break through exactly how you can build it step by step today. And the other thing to note about this is it even adds music to the content and it's all done with an API. So let me break down exactly how it works step by step. You can see the full workflow here, pretty neat and tidy. If you want to just download the template, then you can get that inside the AR Profit Boardroom. Just go to the video shorts clipper in the classroom and then you can download the JSON and just one click import that into N8N. Pretty simple. Once it's done, you can see that we actually post the shorts automatically to a nice little spreadsheet like this. And then we are ready to go. By the way, just a quick one here as well. Just want to say that this was inspired by Robo Nuggets, which is an awesome YouTube channel. I didn't use his template, but I did build it from scratch based on his video. Definitely worth checking out his channel. Awesome stuff. And basically what you can see here is we've got three stages. So we get the video URL of our long form content then we're gonna generate the video. Then we're gonna add the shorts URL to Google Sheets. Now, let me show you exactly how this works. So the first thing that you wanna set up is a schedule trigger, like you can see right here. And with this schedule trigger, essentially what you can see on the schedule is once per day, this triggers, it looks through my spreadsheet, generates some shorts based on what's ready for production. So it gets the videos from my spreadsheet and this is inside this sheet template. Now, if you wanna get that sheet template, I've actually got it inside the AR Profit Boardroom. So you can steal it from me. You can just go to file, make a copy. But basically, inside this spreadsheet template, you can actually grab a YouTube URL for the final output and then use that to generate the shorts, right? So for example, here you can see that we've said get videos from my Google Sheets within document, get the row, and then look for only videos with the production that says needs shorts, right? So. If it says, for example, shorts created, that's gonna be filtered and not used in the automation. But if it says need shorts, then that automation will be used, right? And it will create a short clip based on the automation that we want. From there, once we've got the long form URL, and by the way, you wanna make sure that it's youtube.com slash watch. So make sure you use that type of URL, not like the normal URL from YouTube. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using a tool called clap.app. And this is really cool for turning videos to shorts. So you can see, for example, here, we've got a bunch of short content based on the long form video. And essentially inside Clap, what you can do is you can get an API key for turning videos into shorts. So you can paste a YouTube link in here, it generates a video, and then that turns into a short. So once you've set up the, which is the endpoint, you're gonna make sure you have post inside this HTTP node. And then on the header off, I've used authorization. And then the key, like you can see right here, right? That's basically how you set up the API. So you just put in authorization as a name. You can rename this clap in the top left. So you can reuse this automation whenever you want. And also inside the value you just passed in your API key. If you're wondering how do you get an API key from clap, what you can do is you would just go to account to get an API key. What you would do is you just go to clap.app. Then you can find this example. And from there you can go in the REST API and grab an API key like you can see right? Pretty simple and easy. Now, once you've set up the header, then from here, you're going to send body and inside the send body section, you select using 
and then you can see how we've set this up, right? So what it's dynamically doing each time it's taking the video URL from our Google Sheet and then plugging that into the body right here. Make sure as well, when you're going through each step, you wanna test the step, make sure the data is loaded, and then also right click this and pin it, right? The reason you wanna pin it is because then you've saved that data so you can use it on the next module, right? So for example, if we click on this, what it's actually doing is it's pulling in the information from our Google Sheet, which was the last module, and then plugging it through here. So test each step, make sure it works, etc. And you can see we've actually set up the dimension. So you can change the dimensions if you want to. And you can also change the minimum and maximum duration of the clip, the target duration, the language, how many clips you want to generate. So for example, if you wanted to generate like 100, you really could, if you wanted to, wouldn't recommend it, but you can. And then you can go from there. So once you've generated the clips, then you're gonna wait. Usually it takes about five minutes to generate, right? So for example, here you would put like 500 seconds in the wait amount, and then you can see it's pulling in the data right here. So it says status processing, and then you check the shorts and you just make sure this is done right again. For the authentication, we're using generic or off type, using the clap credentials. We had previously not using send body send headers or query parameters. And then in the URL, we've got api.clap.appv2 slash tasks slash the JSON ID from the previous example, right? So this is the ID from the wait module. You would pull that in over here. Once you've done that, you're going to check that short. Just make sure it's done. And then you can see the JSON ID is pulled in. And this is forward slash task again. And then we're good to go. And then here you can see this is a different API key. So these are all HTTP modules. So to add one of these, you just click on the plus sign HTTP request, plug this in like you can see. And then also you can see this is a get right. So if we have a look at these modules, we've got post wait HTTP request, get another get, and then another get. Now, if we have a look at the get right here, basically what we've done is we've said api.clap.app app slash v2 slash projects. And then we're taking the GS and output ID, right? The output ID is this one down here. So we've pulled that in over there to make sure it's dynamic each time. And basically what that means is each time it uses the automation is going to select the latest video, the latest output ID, which means that you always get dynamic outputs, right? So you're good to go on that. So from here, you've basically completed stage one and you've completed stage two right now for generating the shorts clip. Like you can see, again, we're using a different API endpoint, right? And this is a post method now. Basically what this module right here is doing is it's taken the short and it's exporting it. So it's rendering it. The reason you want to do that is because if you just use the shorts URL from the clip, that's really basic. It's not going to be very good. It's not look high res. It's not going to look great, right? Whereas for example, if we go to the generated shorts clip here, it renders and exports the clip from clap. Now, what you're also going to see here is it's pulled in all this information right here, which is pretty cool. So if you want to see how that works step by step, let me show you an example. So we're gonna go back over to clap, all right? And then if we log, get started here and we click on this video, for example, what this has done is it's generated from this video, from this video right here that's on my channel. Right from that video, it's generated two different shorts. Now, like I said, you can change the N8N workflow so that you actually create 100 different shorts if you wanna just change the number in the JSON and then you can see what it's actually done. This really cool Manus is it's actually come with a virality score. It says this video has high virality potential due to its intriguing topic, blah, blah, blah. And then it's given us a transcript of the video so we can check that out. But also what it's gonna do is it's gonna take that low res preview and then export it using this module right here. Okay, now once you've done that, you'll also see that we've got captions generated for TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Instagram, which is awesome because now not only do we automate the clip, not only do we automate the posting, which I'll come on to later, but we also automate the caption and the hashtags for the, for the video. And so really you don't need to do anything here. You just literally plug in your long form video and you create a bunch of clips. Now, are these shorts like as good as a human editor could do? I wouldn't say so. And I don't think anyone else will tell you in these workflows that they're probably not as good as a human, but are they impressive? And does it have a lot of potential? Absolutely. Some of the stuff you could post directly to YouTube. Again, inside the authentication here, we're using urapi.clap.app slash v2 slash rojects. And then here you can see this is interesting. If we pull this up is we're using the JSON folder ID, which you've got from the previous module. And then we're also using the GSON ID, which you've got from the previous module over here, right? So folder ID, 
and then forward slash ID of the video and then forward slash exports, right? So that exports the video. And then from here, you got the generic credential type send JSON using JSON. And inside the preset ID, you just use this JSON here. So squiggly brackets, quote preset ID, quote colon, and then in quote marks, I just put peanuts. You can put whatever you want in there and you're good to go. You don't have to put peanuts if you don't want to, all right? If you're allergic to peanuts, don't put that in. And then from here on stage three, we've generated the shorts clip. We're going to get the final URL for the video. So that's taking the final video URL using a similar format for the JSON URL we're using header off again. And that's pretty much good to go. Now from here, what I like to do is I like to take the information that we've got so far, right? We're gonna put it into a Google sheet. So for example, if we go to our spreadsheet here where it took the original long form video inside the production section, it's got shorts created. And basically what it's done is it's pulled in the information from our Google sheet, mapped the columns automatically, and then updated the production status so that we know, okay, we've already created shorts for that. We don't need to do that again. And so it's not gonna automatically run through the workflow again. If that makes sense, all right, then we test out, we're good to go on that. We can see the production section there, finalizing and posting the shorts. And finally, this is the final part of the automation is you're going to send this to Google Sheets, right? So you can see here, we've now got the storage link. We can go to our other tab, which is Shorts Clipper inside the template. We've got the title, the caption for YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Instagram matched. And basically what we've done here is we've got a Google Sheet module sheets within document. A pen row is the operation, and then we've taken the information from the list. But the sheet that we're using is the Shorts Clipper sheet which is this one right here. We're not using sheet number one. So inside there, we're good to go. And then inside the links, we've added the shorts link, the caption for YouTube, caption for TikTok, LinkedIn, Instagram. And then we put the status as to be published, which is right there, right? And we're good to go on that. So boom, shakalaka. That's how you basically automate clips and shorts from long form. Now, let me show you how to automate the posting. And by the way, if you just wanna swipe and deploy template for all this stuff, you can get it inside the AI Profit Boardroom link in the comments description. From there, go to Video Shorts Clipper. You can see all the links, but the most important bit is the JSON file right down here. So what ifs if you wanna auto post? I've actually got a video tutorial inside the AI Profit Boardroom, along with an importable template like you can see. And basically, as you can see inside this automation, you can actually export from the Google Sheet that you have with the video URL and the captions, which is this one right here. You can export that via a tool called Blotato. You upload that video to Blow, and then you're going to post that over to TikTok, to Instagram, to YouTube, whatever you want to use, right? So you can see how we've automated the whole process right here. Really simple and easy and very powerful as an automation, right? And all you need to do is, again, you can just download this template, and then if we go over here, we can import the template. So we'll import from file, get that JSON file, boom, auto post are linked, right? And then if we actually delete that node and then we'll link this over here, boom. Shakalaka, you just got the auto posting ready to go, right? Crazy stuff. So that is basically the full automation for N8N, including how to automatically get a long form video, turn it into a couple of shorts, send them to a spreadsheet, and then take that spreadsheet and upload it to TikTok or any other platform. Again, all the video notes and the templates are inside the AR Profit Boardroom. You can just get the JSON files. And also, if you want to see an example of the video auto posted to TikTok, let me show you an example right here. If you go to this profile, you can see an example of a video that I actually automated with another NAN automation and then uploaded to TikTok, boom. So, thanks so much for watching. If you want to get all of my best templates, workflows, etc., you can get them all inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This comes with tons of different NAN agents along with a lot more. But if you want to get all my best NAN templates, like you can see, including a Gene Avatar Automator, you've got a Suno AI Music Generator. We've also got a VR3 automation for creating like insane videos with a click, a Reddit bot that can actually just search Reddit and then give you answers and information based on that. Even like translation bots, we've created like automatic translators inside the AR Profit Boardroom. That's all available right there. And this also comes with three coaching calls per week. So you can connect with me personally. You can jump on the coaching calls and the Q&A calls three times per week. If you want more, we'll probably add more. It's up to you. Just let us know once you've joined and we can figure out, okay, do you want more calls or you want less calls? 
or what's the best thing for you. And then also inside the community here, you can see that we help people, we share our wins, we celebrate our victories. And it's just an awesome community of people who connect about basically scaling and making money with AI. And that's what the whole game is about, right? Additionally, what you can do inside here is you can request any automations that you need help with post inside this thread. And then we'll answer any questions and give you video tutorials and build stuff for you completely for as part of the package of the AR Profit Boardroom. So you can get this all directly here. And additionally, if you just want us to automate all this stuff for you, build out the templates, etc., customize it all to your business and implement it, then feel free to book in an AI discovery session. You can jump on that call, talk us through what you want to automate, and then we can just automate it for you once you become a client, right? And if your time is worth between $100 to $500 per hour, which it probably is if you're an entrepreneur, then this system is going to free up 100 hours a month, right? which means that you're gonna save 10 to $15,000, 10 to $50,000 per month without doing anything, right? We just do everything for you. So feel free to get that link in the comments description. Happy to help.